Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to install Dynatrace and Easy Travel application in Windows 10. Many of my YouTube subscribers are asking how to install uh, Dynatrace and how to configure for Easy Travel. So I thought of putting up a video because uh, for first time for me it took me around uh, uh, two to three hours to install uh, and and configure everything properly. Uh, to learn the Dynatrace concepts. So uh, what I have done is I uh, reimaged my Windows 10 uh, laptop and uh, I uh, installed the latest version of uh, AppMon and the Easy Travel application uh, as a fresh and uh, uh, I made this video. So, so before uh, I created this video, I installed Dynatrace couple times. I uninstalled it. So I have learned a lot of stuff. So I'm going to share my experience uh, so that you can also learn Dynatrace uh, by yourselves. So before you uh, download any uh, uh, license or uh, Dynatrace softwares, so these are the some of the prerequisites you have to keep in mind. So I have a, a seventh generation of uh, i7 processor, which has 16 GB RAM and 512 GB uh, SSD. But after installing the Dynatrace, the performance of my laptop is uh, degraded. So basically, uh, you need a higher RAM and uh, latest processor. So preferably i7, uh, the 8th gen, I guess. And uh, um, 16 GB is stuttering for my uh, in my system. So I don't know if you have a budget, you can increase it to 32 G GB. But uh, definitely Dynatrace, uh, might degrade your system performance so keep in mind and you need to enable the uh, IAS server IAS manager in Windows 10 so if you go to uh, control panel and uh, click on programs so under programs and features just click on uh, turn Windows features on or off so here uh, you can uh, check the uh, boxes for the internet information services and also internet information services uh, hostable web core so just check these two boxes and click ok so it will uh, uh, it download it will uh, install the uh, ias for your uh, system and if you have any previous versions of dynatrace or easy travel please uninstall uh, those as well and uh, you need a uh, account with dynatrace which is free to create but preferably using a business email id so i try to uh, I tried entering a Gmail ID or other uh, public uh, uh, email providers, but uh, the system doesn't allow me to uh, send the uh, license. So if you have a business email ID, please use that. So in the email only, you will get the uh, license, the personal license, uh, or, or you can in, uh, or you can activate using the uh, community logon. Okay, and uh, points to remember is you need to match the versions. So if you are downloading Easy Travel for 7.0, then you have to install the Dynatrace 7.0. So the both the versions must match, otherwise you will not uh, see your uh, traffic in Dynatrace dashboards. And after the installation is completed, you can uh, validate using uh, these commands. Net start find Dynatrace and uh, net start uh, find the port 021 and uh, find the port 99. So now uh, let us jump into the uh, uh, hands-on. Let's get our uh, hands dirty. So in my YouTube description, I have mentioned the links where you can download the software, where you can download the Easy Travel and how to create a, a account and the licensing part. So if there are two things you need to download. So one is the uh, Dynatrace full. 7.1 which is the latest version so which will install all the features of Dynatrace basically AppMon and uh, you have to download the uh, uh, easy travel for uh, Windows so in my uh, my system has 64 bit so I have to download 86 uh, underscore 64 uh, uh, variant and once you uh, registered uh, your license uh, you will get an email uh, with a zip file uh, from Andy Grabner 
so you have to extract it and you have to keep it in the separate folder so that you can map it once the run address is installed so now i'm going to install uh, Dynatrace. So first thing is you have to install Dynatrace, then you have to install EC Travel. Okay. So follow these steps, otherwise uh, your installation might messed up. So just right click. Uh, if you have a Run as Administrator option, you can select a Run as Administrator. So here I am the administrator. So I have to just click on Install. So you need some patience because uh, first time it may not work and you will see a lot of roadblocks. Of course, you can ask for a help. Uh, but if you follow these steps, uh, it's pretty easy uh, to configure. Uh, there is nothing uh, much to pay attention for configuring the agents. So everything will be taken care in the latest version automatically. So this is the initial screen. So here you have to click next. And of course, you have to accept the terms in the license agreement. And here you need to uh, select the first option, basic installation. So this will install the basic Dynatrace components on this machine, suitable for simple setups like a classroom training environments, demos or evaluation purpose. But if you know what you are going to do, then you can go for a custom installation uh, uh, for the la larger distributed components. But if you want to install only the Dynatrace client, and you will be connecting your Dynatrace dashboard uh, via remote uh, uh, servers, then you can click the second option. So in our case, we are going to uh, learn uh, Dynatrace concepts. So we have to select basic installation. So by default, it will uh, install in your uh, C program files, uh, Dynatrace, Dynatrace 7.1. So just uh, hit next, let it be default one here. And uh, in this screen, you have to uh, check this box. Immediately activate the Dynatrace.NET agent. Okay. So if you select this box, so all the previous versions of the .NET agents will be uh, deactivated. And uh, so my recommended uh, preferences, uh, you have to check this box. But it's still you can uh, activate the agent manually once the installation is complete. But uh, uh, this checking this box is uh, recommended. So just hit next and similarly here if you check this box uh, immediately it will activate the Dynatrace IIS agent because I have already installed IIS in my mission. So just check this box otherwise you have an option to activate it later but we have to refer the documentation part. So just to get rid of that uh, documentation and uh, uh, just a happy path scenario I'm just checking this box as well and clicking on next. So here, this is the last step. You have to click install. Uh, you need admin privilege to install the Dynatrace address uh, 7.1. Just hit next, uh, hit, sorry, hit install. And uh, the wizard will start setting uh, the Dynatrace. So it will take a lot of minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and I will come back uh, once the Dynatrace setup is done. Okay, now the uh, Dynatrace 7.1 setup has been completed. So before you hit finish, uh, make sure that uh, you have checked these uh, three boxes uh, launch Dynatrace server, launch Dynatrace collector and uh, launch Dynatrace client. So just hit finish. So this will uh, uh, launch the Dynatrace app mon. So here you can see the 2018 uh, April version and the command prompt will uh, say uh, the collector and uh, other components is getting started. So once the is once the components started successfully, you will get the Dynatrace client. So uh, the first time if you're launching a Dynatrace app mon, uh, it may take a few minutes. Okay, here uh, the Dynatrace has been launched successfully, but uh, at the top you can see the data source, the desktop is unreachable. So this is the uh, error message we are getting. So we will get it uh, solved uh, uh, pretty soon. So uh, just leave it aside and now go to uh, the uh, easy travel download link and download the file for the uh, easy travel windows uh, 64 bit. So the file size is around uh, 469 MB. So just right click this and click on install. So this will install uh, easy travel application for your Dynatrace uh, 7.1. So this is the wizard just uh, hit next. And by default, it will install in the Dynatrace folder. So just hit next, do not change anything. And here you have to check this box. Uh, 
use Microsoft Internet Information Services, but it is possible to use other uh, web server as well. But uh, as I said, this is the recommended option. So just select the uh, checkbox, check the checkbox and hit next and uh, hit install. Okay, now it is installing the uh, EC Travel. So this will be pretty quick uh, compared to Dynatrace 7.1 installation. So there are totally seven steps involved. So all the seven steps are now completed. So once the installation is complete, it will automatically start the uh, uh, components. Okay, now the installation has been completed for the EC Travel. So just hit finish to exit the setup wizard. Okay, so now we have installed Dynatrace Sound.1 and Easy Travel. So, as I said, we have to validate your Dynatrace installation. So, just go to command prompt and type these commands one by one. So, just go to C drive and type net, net start pipe find Dynatrace and net stat hyphen an pipe find 0 to 1 and net stat find uh, 99 okay so now everything is uh, fine so these are the ports it's been listening so just close the uh, Dynatrace uh, 7.1 uh, <clears throat> so so we can close this now launch easy travel just search for easy travel uh, configuration UI so just launch this so next step what we are going to do is we are going to install the system profile so we have installed Dynatrace and we have installed easy travel and uh, next we have to hook these two up so that all the traffic of easy travel uh, will be uh, traced by Dynatrace uh, 7.1. So this is the Easy Travel configuration UI. Uh, so there are multiple patterns available. So for the learning purpose, they have given ample uh, options for us. So you can uh, simulate the standard, you can simulate the uh, Black Friday uh, scenario, uh, you can simulate the memory uh, uh, leaks. So there are a lot of patterns available uh, in the configuration UI and also in the top right uh, you can see that you can generate the traffic manually or you can generate the traffic automatically so manually means whenever you navigate your application uh, manually uh, while opening the uh, easy travel in the browser uh, then a trace will capture it, capture those uh, uh, traces but if you want to learn uh, uh, for example you want to learn the uh, black friday scenario so you can start the respective uh, uh, pattern and you can select the generated visits. So the this configuration UI will automatically generate a lot of traffic for you. So no need to run any uh, sort of uh, uh, tools or automated uh, uh, scripts to generate the traffic. But if you are a performance tester, uh, of course you can go for manual visits and then you can create your own scripts in JMeter or Loadrunner or whatever the favorite uh, uh, tool you are using and you can see those traffic in the uh, Dynatrace by adding the appropriate headers in your requests. So here uh, I have not started any pattern so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on production and I'm going to simulate a, a standard pattern. So if we click on uh, standard uh, Easy Travel will start uh, spinning the uh, uh, the uh, uh, interfaces the components and then you can see uh, the status for us right now the database is getting started and there are a lot of components like credit card auth uh, business backend uh, b2b front end customer front end payment backend etc and once it is started uh, you can see the status has started and once all the components started successfully here you can see the uh, host uh, uh, so right now my easy travel is running on 8080 port we can validate this so just go to browser and type localhost uh, 8080 so here uh, you can see your uh, easy travel uh, application so it's still getting started so right now everything is operating except few components so once everything is up and running successfully 
uh, definitely you can see your easy travel application you can on the business uh, front end uh, is running on 9000 port and mobile web is running on 8080 as well and mobile app also is running on 8080 and here i'm going to select generated visits instead of manual and by creeping uh, by moving forward these sliders i can uh, simulate the uh, visits per minute so right now it will simulate eight visits per minute so now here you can see the easy travel application so now you have to install the system profile so to install a system profile go to the uh, easy travel configuration ui and at the top uh, uh, left you can see uh, there are two links one is the appmon server uh, 7.1 which is the uh, uh, web version of your dynatrace and if you want to install the system profile for your dynatrace client just uh, click on install system profile okay so once you click on system profile it will automatically invoke dynatrace appmon and then uh, uh, you have to follow the steps in your uh, uh, the client so now it is displaying a, a dialog box do you really want to install this resource pack on server just hit yes so do not worry uh, if you get this uh, data source is unreachable uh, give it some time uh, so it will uh, uh, it should work eventually okay here we go so it took me around uh, five to seven minutes uh, to start up everything so once the easy travel is successfully hooked up uh, you will see the screen so right now uh, i have selected the generated visits so just to validate uh, click on dashlets and hit uh, pure paths so there you can see the uh, traffic information uh, of the generated visits okay here you go so one more thing i forgot to mention is uh, installing the license file go to settings uh, hit dynatrace server and uh, click on license and click on uh, import license and map your uh, uh, license file so this is valid from uh, july 25th to 27th so only one month i will continue to work with local agent connections okay this will work for the local agents so for the free licensing uh, there are numbers here java 5 uh, .NET 5 native 5 agents so these are the limitations for the fee free uh, personal license okay so i hope uh, this video is pretty useful to you guys so if you have uh, any roadblocks or installing the dynatrace please let me know i will try to help you out so if you have time please go to my next video otherwise thanks for listening have a great day